I think the best way to start this off would be to quote you. Your post was kind of meandering and pointless. Because if you actually read anything that I said or understood any context by which you were speaking into the situation, which, again, I said you insert yourself sort of with hubris into, I would say that, you know, you'd probably realize just how much you're really not saying anything new, nor really educating anybody, nor really doing anything other than just jerking yourself off in front of everyone. But that's okay, because obviously your friends like that. That's kind of why I'm talking to you all about how you guys circle jerk each other all the time, while ignoring anything that anybody says to you to the contrary of what you guys want to hear. It's kind of what living with confirmation bias does to people. It's what I'm trying to point out, but you know, I understand certain things are lost on certain groups of people. So let's just deal with your whole post first, and we'll just read that, and then I'll, I'll give you my response. Okay, so where did you start off? Oh yeah, <laughs> we've all become better versed in biology and epidermology in recent days. To come to the conclusion that masks aren't helpful, dot dot dot, well, isn't helpful. If you type words that mean, quote, you shouldn't wear a mask, unquote, then you should be prepared to be refuted because you're wrong. I doubt many think that masks are the whole situation, but based on insurmountable evidence from previous and current models of respiratory airborne pathogen, masks are one of the best ways to prevent spread. Cover holes and face. Virus can't go in. Wow, science. That was your first post. Your second one was this. Now, is attaining a level of herd immunity and inoculation vital for allowing the virus straight to the wane? Yes. And honestly, I sometimes wonder if that isn't precisely why there's so many people resistant to masks. Like, the virus is rewiring brains to forego logic in order to infect as many as possible. There's not much evidence for this, but if we're engaged in magical thinking anyways, dot dot dot. If, under some mind-bogglingly complex government operation that would have allowed only healthy, non-vulnerable groups to go out and get the virus to obtain herd immunity, if something like that were possible in the most entitled ever and self-centered society that's ever existed, then sure, we could have tried it. But virus spread is passive and easy. A lot of your assertions and assumptions fail. Fall, fall, you meant fell, in, oh no, fall into the I don't care if the sick and elderly die category because they have an R and will continue to die because of people who don't wear masks. <laughs> oh, this is the guy who's only learned this stuff in the recent days, but sorry, I'm trying to finish before uh, I go and respond. What did you say? And yes, communities that are subject to systematic inequality suffer disproportionately. That doesn't mean masks don't help. Our country needs an entire overhaul, and this pandemic and plague of a president have shown a light on, on the cracks that most of us have been aware of for decades. <laughs> Hold on, I'm trying to finish so I can add your little friend's comment. Simple minds always strike low. It's okay, homie. We're all stressed out. Maybe try Khan Academy, kids. They can explain big sciencey words for you, and then you all gloated, because I guess you guys made a point. <laughs> okay, give me a second. I'm gonna. I I have to laugh real quick, and then I'll respond. You begin this off by saying we've all become better versed in biology and epidermology in recent days. I must first ask you, from a scientific standpoint, who is this? weave you're talking about and what do you mean by recent days because remember the beginning of my post which you obviously didn't read is that we've known this since march of last year that things are going to get worse that what we were doing was not the right thing and people were warning you independent doctors were warning you all 
Remember, there were two doctors in California specifically who resisted Dr. Fauci, spoke openly on it on YouTube, it was published all over the news, and they were publicly lambasted, almost lost their PhDs and accreditation, and literally laughed out of their profession by you all, the weeds you're talking about, who only in recent days learned that this stuff is possible when these doctors told you that in March of last year. But again, let me contain myself. You go on to state that <laughs> to come to the conclusion that masks aren't helpful, well, isn't helpful. And that if we type words that mean you shouldn't wear a mask, then we should be prepared to be refuted because we're wrong. You, you stated that, but this is funny because the whole entire reason why we're having this conversation is because of the fact that it's obvious the masks don't work, smartass. I'm sorry, they don't work. California, especially New York, if you care about the elderly and youth, are the hot zone. The people who should be the most progressive in these measures, who aren't being stopped by the president because in 2018 they legally declared that they are allowed to resist the president's federal declarations and his, you know, the whole uh, freaking, what do you call it, executive orders? You know, the whole executive order thing you guys were freaking out about? What do you think all those states resisting Trump and signing those agreements saying that we're allowed to resist because we want to allow Black Lives Matter, Antifa to do their thing. We don't want Trump operating in our cities and to pull immigrants out. All of the ICE stuff that you guys did, you guys declared neutrality, which means that out of all the states who shouldn't have COVID deaths, why is it that all of those states have the most COVID deaths or the states we are in control of and force people to wear masks and go for lockdowns on? Explain that one. Explain it to me right now. Why is New York the worst place to be if you're elderly. Because of Trump? But let me contain myself. You say that we should be prepared to be refuted because we're wrong, but you didn't even listen to my argument. Which is why I'm yelling at you, because you can't listen to anything else, obviously. But I'm trying. I'm really trying here. Because if you look at the data for the whole year, and especially in places like the UN, where, you know, who's been operating from the very beginning on Fauci's logic, you know, following the science, why is it that they haven't had any dents to the curve? Why do they keep having peaks? Why are new strands still appearing? They've been doing lockdowns more than we have. Why is it getting worse there? Hmm? Explain that one to me. Use your science to explain that one to me. You don't understand what masks are. Because again, if you understood what a mask are, you would understand why people believe in things like immigration. Again, a mask is a barrier to entry and also exit, egress. So when you're wearing a mask, you're really just trying to prevent the particles that are in your mouth from going out and the particles that are outside from coming in when you breathe in air. That's all a mask does. It's a filtration system. It filters things within a certain level and spectrum of effective, effectivity. So what happens when nurses and doctors who still get COVID, as plenty of them come down with COVID still, while serving in ERs and in situations where there's a high dense population, especially in places like the EU, Wearing masks doesn't help them because of the viral load overloads the mask. Remember, if you can smell something through your mask, your mask doesn't work. If you can smell something, it means particles are getting into your nose and into your body. That means things from outside, your mask are getting in. So most of you all who can still smell your nice, delicious freaking food that you get from Grubhub, which, by the way, is still in contact with the virus, just like most of the things you guys buy from the store and most of the things you get from Amazon and most of the things you guys have been supplying yourselves with while you enjoy the lockdown, while millions are suffering? Yeah. You all aren't actually doing a damn thing at all with your mask then, are you? Because most of you guys aren't actually affiliated with the medical field, so you guys don't actually know how masks work. I have to wear a mask. I served in the military. I know the spectrum of what masks are effective. And I know what mask you have to wear in order to prevent certain things from getting inside your body and killing you. 
Cotton Hand was an important part of my job. Cotton Hand had to make sure that I checked other people to make sure they didn't die. Cotton Hand had to go through an entire process of being tortured if I didn't know how to put on a mask. And funny, because even though I'm against wearing masks, I still put on my mask whenever I believe that either I am at threat or put others at risk for others' safety and security. Even if I disagree with them, I still humor them by actually hearing them out and their concerns and not trying to make them feel more scared because I believe I'm right. Unlike you all who forced the conservatives to yield to every single demand that you all believe you're so wholly righteously right, holier than now and have the hubris and audacity to force them to agree upon. Literally, you guys will never listen to anything other than what you all want to hear. Yet you have the audacity to tell us that we're wrong. Do you understand how freaking annoying you are? But let's continue. I want you to publish this insurmountable evidence from previous and current models of respiratory airborne pathogens. Show me this research, because I almost guarantee you did not do as much research as I have over the last two years of this. Because again, COVID is a biological agent. Bet you didn't know that because you don't study how biological agents are created and how the common cold does not act in the way that the COVID does. COVID was designed purposely to do the things that it did. They designed it, most likely in the Wuhan labs, five hours away from Hong Kong, where they were having protests that they needed to stop because it was causing the Western world and the forcing the UN especially to pay attention to China and their aggressive, fascistic, totalitarian regime and what they're doing in foreign countries, especially in the United States, like most of your media, cover up. Because you all don't give a damn about foreign collusion, unless the Chinese tell you to. Ironically enough, the same people telling you about Russian collusion are the same people colluding with the Chinese. Go figure. Oh, and they also colluded with the Russians, too. Go figure they work with both sides, and just stuck with the one who pays them more. But whatever. Let's stick to the point of insurmountable proof you people are freaking great. There's nothing that shows that masks can protect you if you're stuck in a room full of people with COVID. Masks are a placebo effect, which allow the population to not resist what is happening, which is a natural spread of a disease that has a natural progression and will aggressively pursue reproduction through any means possible. It will lie dormant if it has to. It will express itself through multiple genetic adaptations to the population the first second it gets. The only way to let it get killed is to not allow enough variation to occur. So letting the virus isolate for long periods of time to incubate in isolated populations and then re-congregating them only to lock them down again and then re-congregate them does nothing more than do what the flu does and what the common cold has done for the last hundred years. So Mr. I've done the research, show me the figures that prove that the common cold has changed any of its behaviors when it was forcefully changed into a different disease. Because if you could show me that research, then explain to me why COVID is such a unique disease compared to everything else that we faced before, yet expresses the same behavior of the flu when we do these things that we're currently doing and have known will cause these effects since last year based on what we understand about diseases like the flu, which spread through similar methods. Huh, almost as if when you guys were saying, COVID's not the flu, you guys weren't listening to us and were again listening to propaganda, which was specifically slandering people making very important scientific-based assumptions about the nature of a virus nobody apparently had any information on because you guys are just now finding the proper data for it in the last month. Again, you guys are the geniuses, apparently, right? You guys got all the sciencey things figured out, right? So you consider you you consider to then go on and say this mind-numbing statement of now is attaining a level of herd immunity and inoculation vital for allowing the virus for strength to wane? Yes, and honestly, I sometimes wonder if that isn't precisely why there's so many people resisting the mask. Basically, you go on to say that and also in a way imply that people are mentally damaged by the virus in order to spread it. In a way, maybe, perhaps, if we want to work with magic, like you said. But here's the facts. Herd immunity works through genetics. 
It works with the same processes of evolution you all believe in, apparently. So why don't you study it and understand how viruses evolve? I don't know. It takes about, how long did it take me? Six hours. Go to Google, look up one of the freaking peer review sites. If you sign up for them, they'll literally send you. You can do a basically a package order for $20 and get 33 PFD documents that are signed and accredited and basically vetted by scholars on this stuff. I paid for it. I have an account to actual research freaking sites. You want links? I'll give them to you. You sign up for your own damn account and get your own research. I'm paying for my own stuff. So when you talk about having the data, where did you get it? Google? Did you get it because you fact checked it to political? Like seriously, don't talk to people like they're children. Do not talk to people like they are beyond being able to give a damn about the things going on around them. You talk about people wanting to die. You talk about us wanting other people to die. You talk about us being so goddamn negligent when you all won't even listen to a damn thing we say for an entire year only to freak out when what we said will happen happens anyways. But go figure. So let's finish this up, okay? If under some mind-bogglingly complex government operation that would have allowed a healthy... No, no. There doesn't need to be a perfect utopian society to allow people to go outside and decide if walking through a park needs to wear a mask or not. You need to wear a mask when you're in a hospital. Sure, wearing a mask inside of a closed, sweaty, damp, freaking annoying environment like a mall, which all of you people have been going to for the last year because they opened those up really quickly. That makes sense. Having a mask on in the strip clubs that are open. Because having strip clubs open is so damn important. Yeah, um, I think you can wear a mask for that. Maybe church even, which have been closed for a year. Every church, most religious institutions, no large gatherings, no large congregations, can't even meet outside in the parking lot, right? Religious organizations, people can't go outside and meet in the parking lot, but you can go to the mall, you can go to the store, you can go to a strip club, you can go fishing, you can go to the park, you can go basically to the hotel, you can go party at the bar. But people can't go and have faith. You people talk about science and you don't even care. You don't care about what you do to people. You don't listen to other people who you affect with your science. And you talk to people like we're somehow children. You all are children playing God with the freedoms and fucking things that other people have given their life to earn. While you all sit there and scavenge from everyone before you that you hate. Because you're all spiteful people. Spiteful and vengeful people who hate an entire demographic of people who you don't even want to know. And you dare to talk about how we don't care about you all when we understand where you're coming from. We just don't want to be like you and hate a group of people who have done nothing to us. So all of your assertions and assumptions fall into I don't care about the entirety of the damn nation which has said we are suffering under these lockdowns, we are not being taken care of by our representatives, and nobody's doing a damn thing other than saying we need to just put up with it. And who are these people? I bet all of you guys are either employed, have some sort of financial security, or some sort of house over your head that you don't have to worry about losing every damn second and night of your life. But thousands, millions are. And you don't give a damn about them, their children, their parents, or any of us. So check yourself. So when I say you're wasting our time saying crap that we've heard before, and also crap that we've studied before, and crap that we told you before, don't you dare. Then go on a tirade trying to talk to me as if I somehow was not any more clear than I was when I first responded to you. You are wasting all of our times. You are speaking like an imbecile who never listened to anything we said. And you're sitting there talking like you're so ass damn sure of yourself when you didn't even answer or respond to a damn thing I said to you. You're just talking for the damn jerk to jerk you off. So go and have them jerk you off on your own damn response and form. Go to your own profile and say, hey, 
on Berto's thing, there's this idiot who said the idiotic thing of, I don't think people need to be forced to wear masks by the federal government. It should be done on a state-by-state -state basis and on a basis by where we assess who's most at risk and who can actually be allowed to build up an immunity to this. Piss off. You people make me sick. Yet you talk about unity. Unify with us by listening to us and not being allowed to speak or say your mind. Because we think you're stupid. Oh, you're trying to prove that you're not stupid? Well, we're not going to listen to you because we just want to assume that you're stupid.